Centuries ago, a woman's role was limited to bearing children and keeping a home. They did not hold positions of authority and did not go to school. They were not allowed to testify in court and they did not express their thoughts or opinions. In fact, women had no place in society beyond what was expected of them. The unfortunate deaths of hundreds of thousands of our men during World War I resulted in the unavailability of men to work in certain areas, so it was left up to the women to fill this gap. Suddenly, women had a new role to play, and with this change in status, a new generation of women evolved. Today, women are no longer just homemakers and carers. Women are lawyers, doctors, construction workers and mechanics. They are teachers, pilots, security officers and journalists. They are football players, taxi drivers and entertainers. In fact, women can be found in every profession. In many instances, they are the ones leading the charge in changing the face of the corporate world. Women today have become empowered. So how much are these empowered women really changing, lingering gender biases and discrimination? And while she has enjoyed a tremendous amount of support from, from women, it should not escape us that a lot of men love her as a leader and are comfortable with her as a leader. I think it's important for females to make sure that they make every effort to better themselves. Women have actually taken it a step further and even when you look at the universities, the majority of persons graduating are females. So it's showing the, the paradigm shift of thinking amongst women. Regarded as stalwart and strictly professional, Cassidy Jones is one of those women who sits at the top of the corporate ladder and is said to be one who asserts her duties with great care. My role actually has overall responsibility for human resources, so we look at recruitment, specifically at the senior level, whether it's a company here that we're looking for, and at the subsidiary levels outside of Jamaica, those other positions are taken, taken care of by the actual companies themselves. So anything to do with strategic planning, I would actually get involved in that. For example, if we have mergers and acquisitions looking at, I would have to get involved in an acquisition if we're looking at um, taking on a company outside of Jamaica. My HR role actually is a combination of being strategic, nurturing and looking at the development of people, bringing in talent um, and ensuring that we always have people at the base and foundation of, of um, succeeding in our businesses both here and outside of Jamaica. Although the presence of women continues to increase in the corporate world, there is a mixed reaction from their male counterparts. But you do have men who are just not comfortable with women you know, being increasingly powerful in different sectors of our society. But on another level, you have men who are comfortable with it so long as it doesn't threaten their role and their masculinity and their manhood. I've always looked on the competence, the capability of the person to get the job done. Sometimes those guys say, you know, Cassida is one of us. In other words, they don't see the gender difference. Even though most people are happy with the significant progress women have made, there is still a long way to go in order to achieve real equality. We give her a hard time sometimes, you know, but she can also deal with it. Males who have been in human resources tend to focus more on the unionized environment or industrial relations, which has a very aggressive um, approach to negotiations and coming to an amicable agreement. Um, women are a little bit more passive. And I do have HR peers out there. Um, they have admitted to having difficulty um, listening to the very sensitive um, issues that employees may have. If you're having lunch and she comes by, she'll actually join you and you know, start a conversation with you and she would like to find out how you're doing, um, if you're going to school, how school is going, uh, how's the job going. I think those are the attributes that make her outstanding as a HR person. Whether inspired or empowered, there is no turning back for our women. Pushing forward, pressing ahead with a mission to be the true equals of our men.